What's happening, folks? Back with another reaction, back with some more Duran Duran. We're going back to the 1990 album Liberty. Wanted to give a shout out once again uh, to all the Duran fans out there as I've done uh, reactions to more and more of their material and um, more and more of you have engaged with the channel. Um, I've come to see that not only do Duran fans have such a passion for the group, um, but some albums more than others, some configurations of the lineup more than others, some songs even within the same album more than others. Um, so it's been really enjoyable to hear all the different opinions, especially, you know, there's been a number of you who've remarked that either it's an album that you hadn't listened to in a little while because it wasn't initially your favorite and you're sort of reappraising it with fresh ears and maybe giving some tunes a second chance. Others of you have said that, you know, there were tunes that maybe you didn't like them even if you liked the album overall and then upon hearing them again and hearing some other people talk about them and give some insight, you come to a new appreciation for them. So bottom line, um, for all the people offering comments and context and background and insight and just, you know, opinions in general. Um, I do really appreciate you and it's been really interesting to see the sort of um, larger tapestry of Duran fans and their attitude toward the group. So, in any case, uh, as I said, we're going back to the 1990 album Liberty uh, and we're up to the tune Venice Drowning, which I have to say for a tune written 32 years ago feels like more accurate or more true in a literal, like physical sense. Uh, but I suspect there's probably going to be, you know, metaphor at play here, um, you know, the city of Venice perhaps used because of its, you know, sort of um, uh, tenuous sort of uh, water-based uh, condition. Um, because of that um, dynamic, it could be used as a metaphor for like a larger process or, um, you know, some sort of aspect about humanity or perhaps, you know, a relation between different people. Um, but yeah, it's, it's interesting because, like, I doubt that it's just going to be a song about Venice and, you know, again, the, the nature of its environmental circumstance. Um, I'm, I'm inclined to think that there will be much more at play here and there is some at least um, figurative lyrics at work, but we'll have to see. Um, so yeah, let's get it. This is Duran Duran from their 1990 album Liberty and the tune is Venice Drowning. <laughs> Ontology. I do like this section a lot. When you get to my land, 
titles and is reanimated only briefly, then life is very brief. Is that also Simon on the spoken vocal or no? I like this section too. Atmosphere. The bass doing work. Like I said, that's a cool track. I enjoyed that. Um, I'm curious to listen to it again. Like, like I said, it felt like there were some, there was a lot of sort of figurative or metaphorical lines at play. Not all of them did I catch. I know the spoken word parts. I, neither the male spoken word part or the female um, part that came after that um, didn't really pick up on much. They were kind of like whispered, very like light or soft vocals, or at least like vocals that were kind of like overshadowed by the other sonics going on. But in that respect, I like the sort of idea of the, of the use of the word shadow in the sense that I did feel like, again, it was both light and dark. It was like there were parts of the tune that, again, the bass was kind of groovy and it had a bit of a like buoyancy to it. Um, but the guitar and some of the other elements, um, and especially some of the, the atmosphere and a couple of the instrumental interludes, they really had a bit more of a kind of dark or at least like foreboding feel. So I like the, the sonic tension of that tune. Um, yeah, a cool track. Do let me know what you think. I will see you next time. Peace.